this is like the most intense painting experience I've ever had in my whole oh, life. Right, it's exactly. eight minutes already. Oh my God. <sighs> I'm like freaking out. Hello, we are Super Organism. And we're here for Dufus for Draw Our Cover. Yeah, and we're gonna draw it in 15 minutes. And yeah, I already made it, but I'm gonna do it again. With Improve Harry. upon it even. Maybe, hopefully. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> I figured it out, all right. I'm literally not gonna talk unless you ask me questions, <laughs> but feel free to ask me shit. I really hope I don't get any pain on you because I'm gonna get crazy. All right, man. <laughs> I pretty much spent the whole pandemic working on this. Um, it took me like three years almost. I took this photo of the crowd in uh, at, at a show that we played in Phoenix, Arizona. It was just such a good photo and I was like, it'd be cool if we could somehow incorporate this into the artwork for the next album. So I always had that idea and then it just took me a long ass time to do it. And like the reason why it took me three years is because there's a whole artwork underneath what you see on the album artwork. So, and you only have to, you have to buy the album to find out what it is. So fucking order it Save right it now. Up, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I am kind of like, <laughs> like starting to like, my hands are shaking because I also <laughs> had the crazy German Coke that you guys have, which is really good. I love to paint, so I'm having fun, but this is like the most intense painting experience I've ever had in my Shall whole I, life. Shall I like um, use some water to carve out a little spot for the glow? Just go on top of it. Go on top of it. Okay. Just let's cool. just slap shit on. I, I've always loved all of the, I mean, this is very basic, but I've always loved all of the Beatles stuff. You know, I just think it always contributes so much to the record and whether it's Sgt. Peppers or Revolver, they've all got a really distinct identity that I think is very in line with how distinct the records themselves are. And I feel like that with this record, it's very representative. Like when Arno like was first describing the concept of this cover. I remember trying to visualize it and, and being like, yeah, that sounds No, that yeah, sounds literally, I, you guys would ask me like, so what are you thinking? I would explain it, but I could tell like- Well, it's like impossible, you know- You it, guys it, had no idea what I was talking It's about. trying to envisage something that you've got in your exactly, brain. Exactly, you know? yeah, and yeah. I, I was like, cool, cool, man. I can't wait to see it kind of thing. And when she kind of started showing us drafts, I was like, oh, now I get it, now I get it. Like, it really came together in a way that just felt so complimentary of the of the songs themselves. I go on Tumblr still, and that's where <laughs> so I get- So 2012 of you, bro. Yeah, I know. I still get a lot of inspo from Tumblr. Um, I've got friends that, you know, follow like cool Instagram accounts and stuff, um, but I got too like triggered with Instagram. So I never really like made the change to like, you know, unfollow a bunch of people and follow a bunch of like cool art accounts. But yeah, Tumblr is great because I like, it's like people I followed when I was like, I don't know, 13 or something, and they're still posting generally cool stuff. So, yeah. I love science fiction stuff as well. It's such a great escape. Um, I think there's quite a bit of that actually in what, you know, we kind of have a, a fair bit of that musically, you know, kind of those escaping into like strange worlds and stuff. And so I love that artistically as well. I love any kind of sci-fi sci stuff. Oh, that, that Man, I wish all this. interviews were like this. This is so crazy. <laughs> it's getting there. I think it's starting to take shape, really. In a way, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it so far. Yeah. yeah, I'm feeling good. I think, I don't know. Right, it's eight just... minutes already. Oh my God. I love to paint and like, like in terms of like um, my career, I want to do a whole bunch of stuff, like whether that be like, you know, painting, making music, touring, making movies, music videos, whatever. Um, so, I mean, I was happy to take it on, but yeah, I'm a pretty lazy person, I would say, and I don't really like to work in general, um, like many people, I would say. So uh, it was hard trying to get it done, and I don't think I would have finished it if it weren't for the pandemic, honestly. So, yeah, but I won't say I'm glad there was a pandemic because that would be uh, <laughs> I'd probably be, I would be problematic. <laughs> 
I, I, I can't remember who once said it, but I remember hearing someone say that like, you never finish a record, it just gets eventually taken away from you. Yeah, pretty much. And I think that's kind of the way that the artistic process works. You know, a lot of artists are a little bit crazy and the perfectionism that you get can be a bit all consuming at times. And there comes a point where somebody comes to you and goes, I think it's done, right, it's time to stop. <laughs> and then that's when you're like, oh yeah, okay, all right, cool. And then, you know, once it's been pressed onto vinyl and you get it back, you're like, oh yeah, that was done. I was being crazy. But the thing is with the pandemic is that usually that point comes within you know, a few months or whatever, but with the pandemic, it was a bit more like, well, we actually do have lots of time here. We can keep going, you know? We, we, we didn't get too lost in that, I don't think. Like we remained reasonably focused. Despite that, we had a couple of, of outside collaborators for this record as well. But even still, you know, it's like two counties in the band mixed it. Um, you know, the video concepts we've come up with ourselves, even though we've had people help us like execute them and stuff. And so there's still plenty of time like analyzing and going over things and trying to figure out what's working and what's not for sure. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to add to that. I'm like freaking out. So, I think we're pretty much there. Yeah, <laughs> sure. So did we nail it or did we nail it? I think so, yeah. I mean, I'd like to A, B this and the actual cover and I reckon you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. For real, that is like phenomenal. Some Pollock shit going on here. <laughs> I'm into yeah. it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, th shout out to this. Not sponsored, but Oh uh, yeah, this, this, this. My hand was like sh so shaky. It helped with the kind of like <laughs> craziness of the piece. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this is yeah. us drawing our cover, right? Yeah. Super and organism. Super organism. Yeah. And this was one of the most fun press things that we've done, mm. I think. So yeah, thank you.